Okay, before we get DMCA'd, what is going on? This is the Press Pause Podcast. And you guys just heard Ninja Turtles' new sound, new 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 intro Ooh. music. That is, oh my gosh. It's, it's what, like, the Discord kind of blew up this morning a little bit. Nate was like, have you guys seen this? And I was like, uh... Eric. Yeah, turtles hijack <laughs> turtles hijacked Mario Day is what what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's they, true. They really did. If you're only <laughs> listening, I'm actually wearing my turtles hat right now. It's it's from the OG arcade game where you can select your turtle. So, uh, hey, press pause. Episode episode three. We're we're on Not iTunes. We are on yeah, iTunes. We, we're maybe. everywhere. Yeah, I learned some things this week on how to get the shows. Uh, on iTunes faster. Don't let Anchor do it. Just do it yourself. That's what I. Hmm. That's what I learned. So, if you've Good done it before, for all of you out there, if you've done it before, otherwise, you know, do your thing. Do your thing. But yeah. So there you go. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is the show where we just talk about whatever. We just heard Ninja Turtles. I'm wearing my Ninja Turtles hat. Like. Apex is on the Switch. <laughs> oh, yeah. so good, so good. I'm ready to. I'm ready to free up 19 gigs on my uh, Switch. It after so good. After, I'm gonna maybe play. Of I actually haven't even played around yet, but I've seen enough. I decided to tackle that handheld and worth it. <laughs> How many kills did you get? <laughs> <laughs> what what is a kill? I uh, thought you just run around in that game. Yeah, yeah. And Josh won one last night, just running around, waiting for people. They died in the storm. I saw it. Yeah, that happened. That did happen. Uh, I tried to log into that game, um, and do no crossplay, just switch, and I yeah. sat in a queue for fifteen minutes. It didn't load up this morning and the, and it's not even a hundred person br it's a 60 person br yeah it, i was I, in a queue assume, with 26 people i assume that's because nobody knows to to set that like maybe get well, the word out if switch owners want any chance to have fun in that game you you should play against other switch owners and and turn off crossplay. i would that's what i would recommend because you're at such a disadvantage yeah yeah it's i mean i saw it on the subreddit uh mm -hmm. i saw it i saw it on the the subreddit they were saying like the switch subreddit was like hey turn off crossplay do yourself a favor right like get, so, the, get the fortnite treatment yeah so i was like okay i'll try this let me see let me see i couldn't get a game good game i turned it off and immediately had a game and all three people on my team were on switch and we just got destroyed yeah like i was i was looking at some side-by-side -side videos of the um or not videos screenshots of the a tutorial and you know they were standing on the same like cliff and and zooming in on a character on the switch version you couldn't even see that there was an enemy down there yeah whereas you know on the xbox version you can see clear as day that that's a that's another character that you should try to kill right. so um you're at a pretty distinct disadvantage on the switch i think you can still I have we, fun i think we saw this coming yeah. though yeah, definitely. Yeah. To both both of your points, I think I think you still can have fun. The game is playable. It's you know um, surprisingly stable at thirty. At least when I played handheld, mm -hmm. um, you know it's it's not pretty, but it gets the job done. Um, my biggest complaint handheld was those those sticks. The Joy-Con sticks are so terrible for shooters that it's it that's what made it unplayable to me. The short throw is is pretty yeah. bad it's so throw, the, the angle unless you're using like a satisfy or something like that is not conducive to holding and being competitive with it the, the screen size is small i mean yeah. you're at a disadvantage there as well and 720p max it's handheld yeah. it's 540. is it really mm -hmm. yeah ouch yeah yeah, yeah. so just yeah, I mean, fun. as as Josh said last night, as he switched back and forth, what, twice, two mm -hmm. or three times between the two versions, it's a viable travel option. If you mm -hmm. have reliable internet or whatever to, once you get to your said destination, um, the Switch is great to be able to take on vacation and have it set up yeah. somewhere. And if that's something, that's your main game, that's a way to play it. Uh, but as, should that be the main way you play it? No. 
you're yeah, not, not playing, if you have another option. Yeah, you're not playing Apex like competitively or seriously if you only own the Switch. You're playing it both basically casually, you know, jumping in with some, you know, with some buddies and 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 playing that way, right? Like yeah. it's the and uh, again, I play like I played Doom on the Switch. I played through it on the Switch, even though I had it on the Xbox One, just because that's the that system I was mainly covering at the time, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, so I can handle the muddy resolution, like the low textures and the and the muddier resolution. But yeah. but now that I've started playing on the Series X, and when you go back and forth, I mean, it's like getting out of a like getting out of a like a I don't even it's like know your contact, it's like your contact got knocked out of your eye y- yeah it's like <laughs> I'm gonna drive my Pinto instead of a Ferrari kind of thing you know and it's just like you can't it's it, it's tough yeah. to do especially if you want to take it seriously like you're 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 at an automatic disadvantage just with the frame rate alone you know yeah, it's a very fast game it's one of the faster BRs y- yeah definitely. yeah and and like I've gotten really used to my paddles on my my Xbox. I actually, I just broke down and bought a used or renewed Xbox Elite 2 controller because it it can be returned. That's the big thing. It was like, it was like free returns. I'm like, okay, well, if this thing's, if it's garbage, then uh, I'll I'll send it back. But I'm, I'm, as much as I'm playing shooters now, I need, I need, I need good sticks. And my elites, mm-hmm. the the first elite controller, the sticks are just they're so sloppy, they're so loose. Yep, I went I went through two of them. It was a very uh, expensive lesson. They're not even brand new. They're super loose. Yeah, so like they're it, it's the bounce back on them is that's what I'm talking about. It's like there's no yeah. resistance when it was you're the same. It was the same. It's a it's a fancy shell with the same crappy innards that they had in this, the the series or the 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 one the the controllers were still great. They felt the, the 360 to the Xbox One controller was... It, it felt weird to go back to a 360, even though the 360 controller was arguably one of the best controllers ever made. Just I'm, I'm going to let you finish. Okay. But I don't even know who you are because we didn't do introductions. So if you're listening to the show, you don't know who any of us are. What so, kind of host are you, Josh? Come on. So why don't we just you know do a quick round of introductions for the people, huh? We just yeah, we kind of just jumped in. I mean, yeah. at this point, we're three episodes in. You should know who we are already, right? Absolutely. Like, no. Uh, so, uh, Eric, are you our hero today? <laughs> yeah. What's up, Pause Gang? It is your boy Hate Zero, your hero. We're only eight minutes in, uh, and <laughs> who's who else is here? Hey, it's Crawler coming at you. There. There you go, and I'm <laughs> okay. Now you can go crawler. You know. Oh wait, Josh, you got. That's yeah. fine. I don't need to introduce don't myself. Yeah, it's good. But just, just, <laughs> you know my voice. It's good. I'm, I'm Josh. I'm just, <laughs> just Josh. <laughs> just Josh. Uh, yeah, we were talking about controllers, and yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, the Xbox One had, I think, an issue with uh, sticks. Seemed to be a point of contention right now on everything the the playstation 5 controller is class action lawsuit the joy cons are class action lawsuit um i'm amazed there wasn't a retroactive or a current class action lawsuit when it comes to the the elite controller because i feel like that out of all my controllers has been the worst that i've had um yet there hasn't been at least anything that i'm aware of that that was organized for that but it, it was it was a nice premium shell with the same crappy innards i feel like on the on the the first series and and the series two for the elite controller seemed to even in the the trailer when it dropped at what was that e3 2019 yeah i think is when that trailer dropped like the trailer without xbox coming out and saying yeah we made a shit product for 150 dollars they up the price by 20 bucks they up the price by 20 bucks but you gotta you gotta uh a better, yeah. you got a lithium battery in it. I guess that's where your twenty bucks went. But the trailer just mentioning the tensioning of the sticks and the grips being better because the I have I have grips that fell off on one of my controllers on my first series series one, 
and both sticks were loose and sloppy and drifted and all sorts of stuff. But like that was the two major complaints on the first uh, Elite controller, and I feel like they've addressed that a lot better with Series 2. I, I've been happy with it. I haven't used it as much as I used because I was playing a ton of Destiny. I was putting in so many hours with that one controller that I, I definitely pushed it to the brink. But I think they, I think they did kind of quality control how ikea beats the crap out of their their cushions or whatever in those lab in the in the store where they have the the cushion getting beat up on i feel like they did that a little bit with the the controller a little bit more in the uh the test lab i feel like they had something set up at at e3 that was like just pressing the buttons over and over again or, or just, <laughs> oh, <they did? laughs> i think they did it was like this is this is had you know a hundred thousand button presses and still going strong or whatever i can't i saw one somewhere i just don't remember where exactly but yeah they were they were putting it through the you went to pax that year too so maybe it's that pax it could too. have been yeah it, i don't i don't remember but like um jedi in chat saying scuff is the legit way to go and, and i was thinking about going that route too but like you can end up paying as much for a scuff as you did the series x like they can they can I, be as high as 500 dollars. so i'm just like and i had told myself i wasn't gonna buy another series uh elite series controller and i was gonna go scuff but then they came out with series two and i was like oh i'll give them another shot right right yeah, yeah i'm you're happy you did I'm excited to yeah. check it out. What I'm actually thinking about doing, because I actually really, I've always liked the Elite controller other than, yeah, the sticks were always, there was just not enough resistance in them, which I'm sure is why the, the second controller came out and added. And I, my gut feeling is because of the weight of the sticks not being plastic, being metal, that's why they snap back so easy. And if it is the same uh, mechanism, then that would that would kind of explain why um why they they feel sloppy because i grabbed the new the new xbox controller that i got with the the series x and i was like i this just feels better this feels better now i always like to play with the the longer stick on the right on the right mm -hmm. side but i did take that off just to see if if it would help in you know just improve uh improve it and it did a little bit it it did some but I think I'm actually gonna look into ways to mod this controller myself and see if I can if I can do a bunch of improvements on it and 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 make it the controller I want it to be and not have to worry about if I end up screwing something up I'll still have a fallback but I mean the grips are all jacked on it that they're all fallen off like they almost came off completely in my hand last night while I was streaming so uh, I'm uh, when do you get the series two it'll be here tomorrow oh okay cool yeah nice it'll be here tomorrow like I said it was like it was. It was used and in good condition or something like that. So I just, okay. I get super nervous thinking about a controller used. It's just like, you know. Is this GameStop, remember. Best Buy, or from Xbox? It's Amazon. Okay. Yeah, and there's a lot of, the, the only reason I, I went with this one is because it said it had free returns. Because there, there's a lot of like one-star reviews and pictures of people getting the controller and the stick is just all the way <laughs> lean to the side like it doesn't even go back to center so i'm like but they're not available anywhere which yeah. makes me think that xbox may be doing an elite three very very soon so um and the only reason i went amazon is just because i had i had gift cards from uh f from my birthday that i was like nice i want to get this controller i'm just gonna I'm just going to see if, uh, you know, see if it works. We'll, yeah, because we'll Series okay. 2 has that middle button that the new Xbox Series controller has, but it's for changing profiles. It's not for the share it's button not or whatever share like button. it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyway, Ninja Turtles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just Ninja Turtles. <laughs> just, like, you <laughs> well, talk, talk about, about Turtles in Time. Yeah. Like, you talk yeah. about Turtles in Time as if it's, like, one of the greatest games of all time. And, it, it is. like, when I saw this, I, I was like, my boy is going to love this, this. This felt more like the Turtles arcade game to me than it did Turtles in Time, um, which was fantastic. I loved the Turtles arcade game. Well, the original is, Turtles arcade game. And this is made by the the development team that did Scott Scott Pilgrim that just came out and Streets of Rage, right? So I mean, they have pedigree in beat 'em ups, and 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 online too, right? Aren't they? Isn't it going to have Streets of Rage is really good yeah. online? Like you just like pop in, pop out kind of thing. But Turtles in Time was an arcade game, also 
It just yeah, a lot yeah. of us didn't get to play it. I never saw it in the wild. I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it since, right? But I didn't. I didn't know it was an arcade game for a very long yeah. time. I thought it was just a Super Nintendo game. So, yeah, because the no, 89, the eighty nine arcade game is more popular as like a cabinet. Yeah, I probably lost more quarters in that game than any other arcade game. What, honestly, what about Gauntlet, man? It was a constant feed for Gauntlet. I don't know if you ever played it much though, but I played a lot of Gauntlet. I played a lot of Gauntlet, and you you. Your life is constantly depleting. You have to feed it quarters at all times. So, okay, little side note with Gauntlet. My uncle, when he was in high school, uh-huh. uh, took him and four buddies, went to the arcade with $25 each, and one person was designated to just feed quarters to keep everybody <laughs> alive. While, so ridiculous. While, and, like, I mean, he talks about this like it's like a, like, it's a pretty big deal because, like, they got further in that game than they had ever seen the arcade attendant was like guys i've never seen i've never seen these dungeons <laughs> Bust out the camcorder you know? <laughs> the, 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 the camcorder yeah yeah basically, yeah exactly exactly so that's yeah. when i had the whole that's yeah. when i had the whole, the whole shoulder thing. rig yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah but i mean turtles was like my jam right i can remember going and seeing the first movie and then going and playing uh a little league Right, like it was like like the perfect summer day back yeah. when back when it was for for my my friend Brian's birthday. We went and had pizza, and we went to the movies, yeah. and we went and played little league afterwards. And you know, and then getting that that arcade game, the Turtles arcade game. That was the yeah. first time I watched the sun come up because I was gaming all night long. I stayed the night at a friend's house, and the the gamings the 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 TV and the system was in the garage. And his parents didn't know we were, well, he didn't even say, he passed out. I beat that game, then ran through with the next turtle, then ran through with the next <laughs> turtle. Like, it's one of the few games I could play over and over and over again and not get tired of it. So this yeah. has me very, very excited. Something about that, but, and, and, and I know that one came out, I think the arcade version, gosh, I, don't, I, I couldn't tell you how many bits the arcade had versus the, but that came on NES and was clearly, um, limited compared to the arcade back then but that game i remember being so impressed by how much they had on screen like that was one of the first games like like of the nes era where like you remember the fire in the very first oh, yeah. uh very like, first yeah, level yeah. i'm like oh my gosh like it, it was just mind-blowing to come from the first ninja turtle game you know made by ultra on the you know, the top down with the sewer levels or whatever and the stupid swimming bomb diffusing <laughs> that no one could ever beat. Um, to go from that to the to the Turtles arcade game was just crazy. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously super stoked for this. The music is what we remembered. The 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 Turtles, you know, it's it's modern. The turtles they, look back how they're supposed to be a little bit. Yeah, they're not the they mutated a uh, little. Nickelodeon last the last show that they tried to i don't even know if that's still going on but nickelodeon I have, brought back yeah, I don't nickelodeon's know. name is attached to this so they still own the ip so right yeah i assume that means paramount plus is going to get some sort of turtle <laughs> reboot or something but i have i haven't pulled the trigger yet on paramount plus i'm i i'm not going to there's too many streaming things and paramount's library is the least of my concerns the original Except turtle for, cartoons are on that oh the damn okay. it josh <laughs> I was wondering. I couldn't hate you any more than I do right now. But you also get console wars. Ugh. Oh, yeah. true. I I need to. I I didn't. I didn't get CBS because are they? Did they nix CBS? Yeah. All, yeah. CBS it all access. Were, it were, got wrapped into it. Into it. Yeah. Into it. Okay. I, I I have CBS and then now it's par- like I was like I it just I became Paramount. Yeah, I came. I was like. Am I paying for something else now? You know, my kids are watching. My daughters are watching. <laughs> I'm like, what? What am I? What am I? What am I? You know the stab thing. So, so Jedi in the chat says he has the originals on VHS, and and so did I. But I recorded them from live TV, and I got to have all those awesome commercials. And I don't have them anymore, and it, it breaks my heart because not only did I have those, I would also have like because you know I never cut the recording off right on time. So I would have like the beginning intro to DuckTales on it as well after <laughs> the episode. <laughs> yeah, that, that is probably one of the best uh, television cartoon intro songs. Oh, yeah. Most, the DuckTales most. one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
And Scrooge McDuck should have a broken neck every time he dives into his money. But <laughs> just how rich he is. Yeah, he's got he's got implants in his neck so he can yeah. he can dive he's into the that, money. He's that swell. Well, I want to know, like, this is obviously going to be something we play together on stream. It will be something that happens. Oh yeah. But who, who is well, your trade? Maybe job? It, is there crossplay? See, we, there's so many things we don't know yet because I think we're all going to buy this on Switch because we want to play with our, our. I need that S- 4K 60 frames, man. What the hell are you talking about? I don't want to play it in 540p. 12 frames per second but you want your sn30 pro is what you want well yeah you're right about that but what about adaptive <laughs> triggers and and I, I, <laughs> that, that might be a pull for that one who knows <laughs> you can you can you can still you can get the uh the the usb stick and use your ps controller on your switch but i won't have it but i wouldn't trigger. get the adaptive yeah, triggers so you know that um, that might be a deal breaker for a game like this. i i need to know who everybody's turtle is Josh, Josh, being like the Mario person that he is, I'm he's Leo. Pegging, all I'm pegging as Leo. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He's are, Leo. Are we, I was say we're both leaning Leo. What what is it? Yeah, I'm always Leo or Raph. <laughs> but <laughs> but in a game, it's always Leo because he had the reach and you and Donatello and, had the reach. Well, he did, but he wasn't Leo. So well, that's that's, true. <laughs> that's so yeah. Donatello did have the reach, of course, but like mm. uh. And, and, you know, in those, I, I don't even know that the reach really meant anything in those games, honestly. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, it was always my very first Ninja Turtle, like my toy that, like, I had to, like, have my grandma buy me so that my mom wouldn't know about it and then I could open it because my mom was worried magic. about the violence. Magic. I guess. <laughs> magic and violence. <laughs> I guess. So, uh, it was Leonardo. Right. Okay. And then, yeah. So, yeah, def- definitely Leo would probably be my, my, yeah. my choice. How about you, Hate? Uh, I usually played as either Raph or, or Michelangelo. I was, um, I was predominantly Raph, and then Michelangelo was my backup. Yeah, so that that's the same as me. And, and I liked Donatello as a character. Um, I just never wanted to play with him. I thought the staff is just the lamest it weapon. Seems it seems like the weakest one. <laughs> like, what do you, you can blunt force trauma people, but you can't even slice anything. Like, I, I mean. That's yeah. so funny you say that because, like, when I was a kid, my you know I was early '80s, right? And my yeah. I lived on a farm, and the property my my parents actually had a mobile home that my uncle lived in. Both my uncles lived in after we moved oh, into okay. a different house. But there were times that I could look out or walk over to my uncles, and he'd be in like his karate outfits, like doing handstands and ninja kicks all over the yard, and he would always be swinging a bow staff. Right, so I was always just like, as a kid, I was like, "Whoa, the bow staff is so, so cool. sick!" Right, like, yeah. so, um, so I've yeah, I've always and like even like watching Darth Maul and stuff like that. The way that the the yeah, I've always loved the movement his, of a bow his staff. Bow staff so. is a little bit cooler. <laughs> yeah, a little, yeah. <laughs> little bit, yeah, a little bit. You know, and, and that was my like, uh, you know, Leo has two swords. You if let's let's pretend you and I got into a back alley fight and you came at me with a bow staff and I had two swords, like like that. Obviously, everyone's gonna want to play my character because I would be way cooler in that scenario, right? <laughs> Unless you're Leonardo in Turtles Two, in which case I had to cut a bow staff in half for my toys so that I could replicate his sticks because he didn't use his swords in yeah. the in the second movie. So, you know, I was uh, I had to make sure it was accurate. <laughs> no, you can't have the. Did you have any of the? So I had all the the cartoon action figures, but I had I had a Leo, and who was the second I had? I had two of the the movie the freckled ones. Here. Yeah, but like they were, their texture was different too. They were like rubberized oh, and like okay. super super cool. Um, I had two of those. I had Leo and someone else. And I, those were like my pride and joy. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I so I had all four of the original. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the movie ones. I had, uh, like, Toka, the turtle, right? It was just that they used the Slash model for the toy. Yeah. But I also had Slash. But then I had, like, I had tons of all four of the turtles over and over again. Some that, like, mutated from little turtles, like, transformed yeah. into the big turtles. Um, those were so dumb. They're, oh, they're, the, yeah. The backs they, were, like, so... Back into yeah, the back. yeah. It, was, it was so yeah. dumb. <laughs> so dumb terrible. and and even their their like, that was, 
yeah, they were trying to cash in on Transformers a little bit too. Yeah, yeah like they Leo were swords. Bad at everything though. Oh, well, and that was like the, yeah. and then that later became the Power Rangers, where it was their head, and then the the helmet would flip up out of yeah. the their right. head would switch. Yeah, was, that, that was the precursor. All of that the turtles so would precursor. Changey. That. Yeah, <laughs> just so so bad. I had a, a Michelangelo that was like a little bath time Michelangelo that had um little flippers and you could wind them up and he would just yes. like float around in the bathtub. <laughs> and uh, that, that was pretty cool. Um, that was less gimmicky than the stupid Transformer turtle for sure. Yeah. I, I, I had mostly Star Wars toys. I had the jacked out uh, Luke Skywalker, the Kenner, the 90s <laughs> Kenner jacked out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the roided out Luke Skywalker. That's so, so good. This is not my story, but I'm going to share it because it's one of my one of my old coworkers, and um, <laughs> he hates his brother to this day. Right? Like they don't get along. They've they've never had a good relationship. But he tells a story of a year he got the um, turtle blimp. Oh yeah! Like the actual blimp, you put helium in, and and it floats. And his brother didn't get one. His brother's a year younger than him. <laughs> so his brother grabbed a kitchen knife and popped the blimp. No. And so my buddy like threw something. So the brother has like a scar on his head. <laughs> from did, it. Mattel, <laughs> did Mattel not sell a replacement? Like, I blow? don't, I don't know. As a kid, I don't think you know any of that. You, either. So you that, just, yeah. you just think like my pride and joy is broken and yeah. ruined. And so to this day, like, I, that wasn't the end of the relationship, but that was a that was a strong breaking point for him. Dude, I had like speaking of toys that got broke, I had the original Imperial shuttle, like with the the wings that, I mean, it was like I could barely hold on. It had a handle underneath, you know, like, and I had a <laughs> friend come. Fly it. I had a friend come over, <laughs> just snap the wings right off oh. like yeah my mom is still angry about this to this day like she was on ebay while we were with her on vacation <laughs> wanting to buy me a replacement one because it bothers her st still like we're, we're talking like 35 years she's been stewing yeah. on this so but like say, i had the t i had the t16 skyhopper i didn't have the imperial shuttle but yeah it, so my it was cool my brother had uh you know all a whole lot of the original you know, 70s run Star Wars action figures. And, Those are valuable. <laughs> well, the story is going to be fun for you then. <laughs> uh, I was playing with them. So he's 12 years older than I am or, or 14. I don't know. He's some amount older than I am. And uh, I was like four. And I was playing with them in the garage. And I decided to smash them with a hammer. <laughs> And they weren't valuable back then, right? But, no, now, but now they very much are. <laughs> and um, so that was in my, like, I used to like to break stuff and try to put it back together phase. Like, and I still do enjoy trying to put stuff back together. But um, <laughs> I think that kind of started. I also broke his, like, original Tonka <sighs> truck. That Those are worth a fortune now, too. <laughs> So, so they say those, those those 70s Star Wars toys, you were sold a hope and a dream at, at that, but you were sold a piece of cardboard back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they mailed them to you later, later. My grandmother probably had 70 figures at her house and I would go and just set them all up. Like I, I there's pictures of me, you know, she's like, oh, they're all dancing because I had all their arms out. As they're, I'm like, this is a fight. Like, they're not <laughs> dancing. This is a fight. They would never dance together. <laughs> yeah. like, this doesn't even make sense. And it was the most obscure toys, too. It was like the hammerhead dude. And like, like it wasn't even like th like the random bounty hunters that you saw one time, you know, like she got these things at like a thrift store or something. So none of them had there was very few guns or weapons or anything like that. But I just don't uh, understand the, why your grandma movie. would have them when you weren't even allowed to participate in the Star Wars. No, Star Wars was, was fun. Space magic didn't was matter. Riddler. Space magic was okay. <laughs> yeah, and, Star Wars okay. was fun. Star but Wars was Zelda fun. magic was uh Z Zelda, oh, magic was Zelda magic, I don't know that was I mean it was it was uh He Man that was like not uh, not yeah, okay, happening. Okay. He Man right. was right. not <laughs> happening. So Okay, that makes uh, sense. Yeah. And and your mom was never allowed to read the uh the instruction manual of the Mushroom Kingdom. Super Mario Brothers, no way. <laughs> not Bowser used black magic. <laughs> I kept that thing away from her. It was like, oh that's that's like that's like the F word for my mom. I'm like, oh this is out of here. Nope. No black he probably magic. didn't miss much with the He-Man thing anyways, because didn't like Dolph Lundgren play 
play He Man, or was that, that he was... did in a movie? Yeah, but it was yeah, the action see, figures that I cared about in the cartoon, that. which I tried to watch the cartoon like like I don't know six years ago, and I was like, this is trash. Like this even is... even OG OG X Men cartoon oh. on uh, Disney Plus is hard to watch. It, yeah, the first few episodes it may get better, but yeah, I, that's why I'm scared <laughs> to watch the turtles. I'm scared to go back and watch the turtles because I'm like. I got nice memories of this. And memories. <laughs> I don't want to. Us talking about all the toys and stuff. Uh, I've only watched a few episodes, but I know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has an episode of uh, the toys that made us or whatever. They do. Yep. Uh, oh, on Netflix or whatever. So I'll have to go dig that, dig that episode up and take a look at that just because the van and the, it wasn't the Technodrome like a full on yeah, thing. I, had, I had it. I had, the van. I had the van too. Like my, sweet. my bedroom was like turtles central. Like I had like the skateboards that they would ride on. Mm-hmm. They had the foot that would come out, you know, and, and if you leaned it back, I had yeah. uh the, the technodrome. I still have the technodrome. It's just in pieces. I still have all my mm-hmm. turtle figures through my you were just living right a, You were just living a Mattel commercial. I, then, huh? I yeah, was. I, and sure. then I had a friend who had the blimp <laughs> and the pizza thrower. So like when we would get together, it was like it was. Were you guys like. You built it you were in your room, and everything. talking on your talk boy too. Like you guys <laughs> yeah, were all in. Our talk boy. You guys were all in. <laughs> yes. My kids were home I early. Had, you know the dr- the big. I, I had I had a talk boy after I after home I wanted a talk boy. I never I, got one. I have I have a I have a thing. I've never. I don't got know one. what year. I don't know what year that was. I was in second or third grade or whatever. My parents still have this that comes out with their Christmas crap. But it's like a book I made for in school. Like I'm getting a talk boy for Christmas, and I'm so excited and blah blah blah. And it, I drew a picture of it, and it's I, that that was my toy that year, and that I'm was the so best thing. Of you, I still that want mo- a talk boy. You know how much old. those are now. <laughs> I mean, I don't have it anymore, but yeah, I'm sure it's valuable. Ah, oh, terrible. <laughs> I always wanted one, never got one. <laughs> and he's like, the blimp was a, was terrible. It seemed like it would be awesome, but it was annoying. It, yeah, mm-hmm. if I remember right, it didn't really, didn't really hold the air very well or anything. But, but yeah, yeah I mean, the uh, kind of going back to Netflix a little bit, I was watching last night. There's a Transformers trilogy that's like about six episodes each, and they're the end of the second part right now. And it's the War for Cybertron uh, trilogy. And it is damn good. Like, it is really good. I don't know if you guys watched the first one, but I... I actually, so I started watching the second one and I was like, no, I want to go back and watch the first one over again because the the second one starts and I was like, I think I remember everything that happened, but it been, it, it came out early. Uh, I, I think it came out early 2020 and this one came out late 2020. I can't hmm. remember exactly, but, but anyway, it, the, the voice acting is great. It's super gritty. It's, I want to say it's like, I don't think it's TV MA, but I think it's at least TV 14 or something like it's. It, it's hmm. it's worth a watch. Like if if you're a Transformers fan, out. like that was my other jam as a kid is Transformers. So you know. I wasn't big into it as a kid, but I've I mean I've enjoyed the the well the first the first couple movies they made, and then I fell off because they <laughs> they got more outlandish. But yeah. um, I'm definitely interested to go check out some of like the older stuff. I remember playing with some of the toys back in the day, but I didn't I didn't watch a lot of the show. The Fall for Cybertron games are both stellar too. Like. Um, they're both stellar, yeah, but you, I, you, you've talked about them all yeah. And the team I think is working on, I think the high, yeah. high moon studios is they worked on black ops, uh, cold war. Wow. Yeah. And they, the, uh, Bungie employs them, I think for some stuff too. Oh uh, yeah. That, that would make sense. Cause they're, they're a support studio for Bungie. And there's, there's, uh, I don't know if it's a video or art articles out there that basically Activision just drove that whole studio into the ground and the whole trend, like they had a lot of potential and Activision just blew it, unfortunately. Just, yeah. They just gave them the, the, the crap to do. Yeah. They were, they were the workhorse. Yeah. Unfortunately. But, uh, I'm going to keep the transitions rolling from last huh. week. Cause you talked about Netflix and I saw this today, which made my heart kind of sad, but. Uh, on the period of Nintendo killing off Mario stuff here at the end of the month, Netflix is apparently pulling the the Mario Super Show at the end of the month as well. Well, the Paramount Plus has uh, the Super Mario World and the Super Mario Three show, so 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 maybe that's why. Maybe that contract is uh, is coming. So 
another reason to go get no, i don't know if that's another reason because <laughs> the show is pretty bad but <laughs> my yeah. kids seem to enjoy it enough that i when i put it on they would sit down and watch it all three of them actually so now if one of them but, finds captain n i will be if one of the networks get to that like i'll be all over it that 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 mega man talking like this oh that's like that's <laughs> the best it's the same actor that played probably all the like the Koopalings and stuff and because right. and, and Toad in that show too. Like it's all just probably the same one dude. Jedi Master saying uh Captain Bucky O'Hare, like that's a stellar NES game and it's not cheap. Like yeah. That's... I don't even remember that game. It well it was a great it was a great cartoon. It was in the same time that the turtles were all popular. This was like yeah. Bucky O'Hare. You remember Bucky O'Hare, just not the game. I remember the cartoon. Yeah, gotcha. I just never okay. played the I didn't even know the game existed. Yeah, it was at the, back, the back rental the shop. Everything was licensed. Yeah. Yeah, there were so many licenses. Like Honey the Shrunk uh, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, I think, had a game. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. uh I I I could only rent so many games back then. <laughs> well, my my rental place had very very few games, but Bucky yeah. O'Hare happened to be one of them. And oh, nice. I remember it. I mean, it played like Ducktales kind of, like as far as the way the graphics looked and just like a side scroller like that. And it was, yeah, it's very very well done. It's a it's a great. Where's game. our Disney Afternoon Collection on Switch? That's what I want. Yeah, you just you know I mean, do we need it anymore? We can just play it on the. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was on sale a couple months ago on Xbox. I still haven't pulled it. It was like down to five bucks. I should have pulled the that's, trigger. But. That's what I got it. And guess how many times yeah. I played it? Zero. Yeah, it's I have I have DuckTales remastered on Wii U. <laughs> I don't even think it's open, you know? Yeah, like I think I actually bought it digitally and bought a physical when I saw it. So, you know, that's that's smart. But speaking of like. Are you like we talked about this a little bit? Where are you guys buying turtles? Because I'll buy it on the Xbox to see it looking its in its most, you know, in in all of its glory. But if it comes as a physical, I'll definitely buy the Switch yeah. one just to have in the collection. Well, I was gonna say I talked about this today in Discord when Hate was poking fun at me for not wanting to buy seventy dollars <laughs> games. But uh, I I still have <laughs> I still have yet to uh, play Scott Pilgrim because I bought it on limited run. So I have a physical version of Scott Pilgrim versus the world coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I haven't, I haven't bought it anywhere else right now. I'm waiting for that physical. And if, especially with this being made by the same studio, if it gets limited run treatment, we're probably in store for some really cool physical kind of designs on the, the game and, and different editions. So I'll definitely probably pick up a physical there, but depending on cross play, and where and how we're able to play it uh, either playstation or xbox as well i mean but because i don't want to necessarily double dip on somewhere where i'm going to get the physical for switch and yeah. buy it digitally on switch as well but if if uh if cross plays a thing then i'll maybe pick it up somewhere else and play it there too this yeah, game I mean, feels like a nostalgia um, pull i can't yeah. imagine them not like if if limited run has it we might see like a snes cart right that doesn't but, do anything yeah but if I kind of like the Star Wars stuff, it's gotten to do. They've gotten to do. And, yeah. But yeah. If, with Nickelodeon's name on it, I think this game's going to be on the shelf. Is it going to be $70? What do you think, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I, I doubt it. I mean, I really doubt it. But I, I think, you know, I think we would want it to be 20, but it'll probably be 30 because of the licensing. Mm-hmm. Um, and and yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll most likely get it on Switch. The question is if I would also get it on PS5. We don't know what consoles it's coming. The assumption is it's coming everywhere. Um, but like, if it's you know PS4 and Switch and in that and not you know a PS5 native game, I might then just buy it on Switch because right. You know, I I don't I don't need it, but. Well, we'll see. Yeah, Henny says he was thinking thirty nine ninety nine. Maybe it's possible. I just it, you know, some of these smaller sixteen bit games they seem to fit right into that twenty thirty dollar pocket. How much was Scott Pilgrim? Uh, twenty digitally, I think. I the version yeah. I got, I think, is fifty on limited run. I can I can see it falling right in there, but maybe because of the the Ninja Turtle licensing. Uh, maybe being a little bit more yeah i mean scott program is a, a dc uh property but yeah. but yeah i can 
I can tell you right now, I'll pay seventy dollars for it if it comes with a collection <laughs> and we get the NES games and the SNES oh, games. Oh, yeah, and the other stuff. Hyperstone Heist. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, that that's not gonna happen. Uh, that that would that would need Konami involved. So, oh yeah, I would love for them to to do an updated Turtles in Time, and I think this is probably the closest we're gonna get. You know, this is this is probably the you know spiritual successor to to Turtles in Time that we'll ever see. Um, I just hope that we at least get one big apple 3 a.m. Oh, in the please. Game. <laughs> yes. They just, they, they yep. gotta hit us with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he said Turtles in Time Alone would sell it, you know, would sell it for him. For sure. And I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a stellar title. Like, I don't even, I won't emulate anything. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I own all those Turtle games. Like, would it be that bad if I put them on? on uh... Leg- legally, technically, you're allowed to do that. I see, okay. I, I, I don't you, own the, you can't you own share it. it. Correct, yeah. So, but then where do yeah, I get so. it legally? That's the real question. <laughs> well, yeah. Once you have it, then it's not a question. You just have it. <laughs> I gotta learn how to I gotta learn how to pull ROMs out of SNES carts and then I'll be fine, right? So yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so Turtles games. Mm-hmm. Like there's a few that are like a little bit obscure. The Game Boy games were stellar, right? Follow the Foot Clan. And yeah, there was a second one. one too, but I can't remember. Out of the Sewers, I think is what it was called, maybe. And then play that one. TMNT, the GBA game, played like Turtles in Time, but on, on, on Game Boy. And you mostly, you played the first part of the game or a majority of it as Raph because of the, uh, it's been a long time, but I don't know. It was another, like another stellar title. That's like, I don't know why that game has stayed with me in my collection, but I still had like, I had a very small GBA collection and that was like the only game I think I traded everything in, but I'm like, I'm not trading that one in like that. <laughs> was... how, big, how big is the GBA library just in general? Like it's gotta be, there, there was, there I, had to be a lot of stuff there. I would assume 600 games. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm sure we could my find toes, an answer my to that. toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Follow the Foot Clan was like one of three games I had on my Game Boy for a long time. I had Tetris, Follow the Foot Clan, and uh, the Mario uh, Mario Land. Yeah, Super Mario Land. Um, and those were it for a long time. Um, eventually, I got a couple others and Pokemon and you know Pokemon Red or something, but. Um, yeah, I played the crap out of Fall of the Foot Clan, and it was a solid game. Um, I I forgot all about it until you just brought it back up, though. Well, and I mean, look, Konami did a Contra collection. They did Castlevania. Let's mm-hmm. let's figure out a way to make it make it happen, you know? Because those are all all stellar titles. The TMNT one, based on the movie, that's probably there's probably lots of uh, um, probably lots of uh, hands would be in tied to that one you know so yeah be be yeah. interesting there we go taking care of riff raff and Definitely. chat so um okay um i don't i just have totally thrown off by by <laughs> Mr. Mr. I just, like, never saw it Mr. Walmart <laughs> asking me if I was re- <laughs> like uh, okay yeah of all come on Henny so, right here. Come so, on, throw the hammer down. so many questions like that I've never wanted to have to answer or think about you know yeah. like that's what we oh. what happens we turn off the auto mod look what happened I, 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 <laughs> oh, I turned auto mod down the other night like way down and then that kind of stuff happens Henny you gotta stay on your toes so <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean this. You know, it's an it's an adult era here. We're in us, just so. chatting directory, so we never know what we're gonna find. You know, True. We'll we, never just, know. we never know. We don't have we don't have the boobs for that. So that's yeah, that's that's <laughs> great. Now we're getting canceled. Um, so it's, uh, at Nightcrawler <laughs> without the e seven two four without the e seven two four. Come at me. Tra- he was trying to look up the Game Boy Advance library. <laughs> And he comes oh, yeah. back to this. <laughs> no, you're, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. Rest in peace. Press pause. It was a good run. Yeah. It was, it was a good three run. episodes. So, is no, no joke. Three, you know? We made it three. That's a good run, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's good. It's um, good. But to, today is Mario Day. Oh yeah, um, Mark Ten. Yeah, yeah. Every like a lot of stuff is on sale uh, with the Mario stuff, but it's uh, only if you're p- petite. Ex- extra small and small, I think, is all that's left in stock. Oh, when I went to go look for stuff, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like everything is sold out. They have a really kind of cool uh, sweatshirt that I didn't want to pay fifty bucks for, but I would have paid thirty three or whatever that had all sorts of different logos and stuff. That's that's really mm-hmm. all sold out. Uh, there was a trucker hat that I was going to look at that sold out. Mm-hmm. Nintendo just can't keep anything in stock. I don't know. But like, how about? I, I don't know if you guys got this. I did this the other day at work when I was killing time. Um, Nintendo sent me a survey. And it was, I think it was at about my Nintendo rewards. Um, and I filled it out and it was like, do you know you can earn platinum points and gold points and yada yada about that? Uh, but then it was like, explain your answer on, on like the value you see in, in my Nintendo rewards. And one of the, I, I, I thought about it for a second because normally I don't put that kind of stuff. I don't write out a long thing or whatever. So sure. I tried to just advance through it and it's like, no, you have to write something. I'm like, all right, you want me to write something? I'm going to write something. So. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> I have I have these beautiful 35th anniversary second set of pins, okay, which are still in stock, still. So they have the stock, but the first run sold out in less than 15 minutes, yeah, or something like that. And so that was one of my biggest things. I I, I wrote out how, um. The, the first rollout of the pins was horribly managed, and uh, we, I don't think we were even given a heads up. I think Wario 64, I think, tuned most of us into it. At least on the second run, we were given a date and a time. It crashed their website, yep. but at least we had a date and a time. Yeah. Um, but I, I criticized the fact that the second run still has stock to this day or whatever, and the first run didn't have the appropriate amount and i kind of just i was like the reward and i and i and i told him i was like i really enjoy the physical rewards especially since they brought that back to the u.s because japan and europe and had that kind of stuff but i was like the 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 stuff going out of stock so quickly is frustrating especially when it's a fight to try to go get it so i i don't know if you guys got that survey or not or if you did it but that was kind of my my two cents on it and just it's it's frustrating when it's stuff you want and you can't get it. I got the email. I clicked to do the survey and it said, we've had enough of these. So after you finished <laughs> yours, real? after you finished yours, they were like, we don't need any more. Forget that's, it. That's enough. That's, I'm not joking. Actually, they, they uh, said we've had enough. They of had these. enough responses. Yeah. We're like, you, they're like, you don't get your Fair 30 enough. platinum points. I was like, what? I need, wow. I need that keychain. So. Yeah, that's legit what happened to me. Because I, I never do them, but I was like, eh, well, well, this one, why not, you know? But, yeah, so. I saw it, and I ignored it like I do most surveys. Every other survey. Yeah, I mean, I typically yeah. do, but, yeah. but, you know. I I'm glad to know, had I wanted to, I wouldn't have been able to, because Crawler ruined it. Yeah, they, they ran out of stock, just stock. like the first run of pins. So <laughs> They ran out of those, those <laughs> platinum coins that they can just print themselves. <laughs> yeah. That's so interesting that they would... Yeah, yeah, shut it down. Ah, it's just interesting. Well, they're Very shutting everything down. Like, hey, it's Mario true. Day. Rest in peace, dude. Like, yeah, you got T minus T minus twenty one days. Yeah, it's the final <laughs> count. I gotta stop the DMC. Three weeks, is, but three <laughs> weeks, and it all goes away. Like, do you think this is a Nintendo? Pl- like, uh, they apparently doubled down on saying, yeah, stuff is going away. Mario thirty five is gonna end, and Mario, what is it through? Just the three D All Stars is the only game they're pulling because three D three D World should stay, right? Yeah, three D World will stay. Um, I think. Like, I'm guessing this has more to do. Well, who the hell knows, right? It's Nintendo. Uh, no one could. You know, this might be the Eric Cartman approach where they're creating demand by saying you can't have it. But uh, I'm. I would think that. You know, it is Zelda's 35th, right? So to try to make way for that, they're they're kind of clearing the space. Maybe that's my hope. If they don't end up doing Zelda 35, then who the hell knows? But that's that's my kind of guess slash hope. We have just been through a 
pandemic as a yeah, but world. Yeah, Nintendo didn't start it. <laughs> as a world. Still, still, still in pandemic. Yeah. And yeah. there are probably people that, like, haven't had the funds to even, like, why take, like, yeah. why take this away? This is, this is ridiculous. This is not Nintendo's pandemic, you know? It. Okay, I guess, yeah. I just <laughs> No, I yeah, I don't I mean they don't they don't care. Not to say that they're heartless corporate bastards, but you know, they That's what they're showing they're, right now. I mean that's Well they are. I mean I'm joking, they absolutely are. Like yeah. at the end of the day they're a business it's and the they end have to make money. An annual quarter and year and it's yeah. a cash grab is what it is. Yeah. But it's the weird thing about taking it away. It doesn't help them sell anything. Like if they took it away and then brought it back as a twenty dollar title, that would be one thing. But it just goes away. That that's kind of the part that just I don't really understand it's the vagueness of it all. Because like we think that it maybe is going to show up part parted out as. Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, yeah. Mario Galaxy. Yeah, sell me 64 for 20 bucks again, please. <laughs> I mean, you bought, you bought it. You bought it twice. I know. For yeah. Three and times. That's the you thing. It, on Wii. It, worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It was the like the second most sold game on Amazon last year. So this scarcity tactic worked, right? Like, yeah. Well, did it, though? If they didn't say anything, I think it still would have sold just because the 3d all-stars and and it's games we all wanted and they're not giving us a virtual store so it's the only way to get them and uh so i'm i but because yeah. it happened this way we're gonna see it again there's no like yeah. <laughs> we've we've already okayed it and i know i mean i i realize we're part of the problem but i want the games i want to be able to play them easily this, without hooking something else up you know this is a great transition into disney's premiere access that you know, we we should talk about briefly. Okay, <laughs> because yeah. a reason for Eric to shit on me not buying something when I buy plenty of other stuff. <laughs> I hey, so so I understand both sides of this, and and so here's here's my take. Okay, here's my take, and and I'm part of the problem if you think it's a problem, and the reason why they're going to keep doing it because it's working. But here's my take on it. I don't go to the theaters a lot. I'll only really go to the theaters for a new Star Wars. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, I'm going to wait for it to come out. This and I was disappointed is... in the last three times, too. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I enjoyed it. This, I didn't watch Solo in, in theaters, thankfully. But anyways, so this is uh, an opportunity for me to get a, you know, day in theater release in my in my home, you know, be able to see it. And so for me, like, you know, if the wife and I wanted to go watch Raya, which if if you guys are on the fence, you should watch it. It's fantastic. It's probably the best HDR movie I've seen. You know, it's the best display of my TV. Uh, graphics are fantastic. The the sound, the, the story, it's a great movie. I don't Anyways, even know what you're talking about right now. Raya and the Last Dragon. It's the new Disney. Um, Disney Pixar. Is it Pixar? No, it's it's Disney Animation Studios. It's from the you know teams that brought you Moana and and. Uh, as soon Frozen. as my kids outgrew those movies, I've ne- like I have not seen Moana. I haven't oh, seen Moana. Moana is possibly my favorite movie of all time. What? The, rock, the rock, the rock can sing, man. <laughs> it is so good. Okay, but the music, that's the music here. Good. Yeah, that's so. So for me. The $30 is a steep price, right? But you get it, you know, unlike doing an Amazon rental, which is our $20 for their, um, I forget what they're calling it, theater, theater at home or whatever. But yeah, it's only 24 hours or 48, I think, is what you get. Um, but with this, I unlock it until June and then, you know, and then it's free for, or it's included in everyone's price. So I'm just thinking, like, if the wife and I wanted to go to a theater and watch this movie, we're looking at 25 bucks, roughly, for the both of us anyways. So that price, you know, because I think, uh, what's a movie ticket? Like $12.50 if you're not going... Yeah, Yeah, if if you're not going prime. Yeah. 
So for me, that price isn't that outlandish anyways. And then if you add more than just two people, you're looking at pretty reasonable pricing model. Um, you you so, know what movies were charging before the, the pandemic was going on? For 20 no bucks idea. a month, you could get like unlimited movies to go and but watch not all of them. at Regal. They started taking certain movies out that were like premiere movies that you couldn't watch. I think they started taking out like the first weekend primetime slots. Yeah, whatever the scenario out. was. Yeah. But again, that's that's a it's not a price okay. issue for me. I don't like going to the theaters. It's dirty and disgusting. <gasps> I, I don't like it. What? what? Are you serious? But I worked in a theater. You know how many times we cleaned those chairs? Not one time. <laughs> Not one time. Yeah, but that's, I bet they clean them now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm good. No, like, thank you. So, did you not see like the like the audience reaction like at the end of Infinity War or like I didn't even watch Infinity War. <laughs> didn't I tell you before that? <laughs> didn't I say before the show I'm way behind on all behind the, on MCU stuff? Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen most <gasps> of the Marvel things. I've seen. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. I watched it because I was on a Disney cruise and, and they played it in that theater. Um, I watched the Iron Mans. Uh, you got you both have home movies. Josh needs to watch Moana. Yeah, you, you gotta need watch to, Moana. You, you need to start get working on the MCU a little bit. Uh, but man, there's so, so many like, now it's like that's there the, are it's that's the problem yeah it's <laughs> it's just a lot to look at it's like telling me i have to watch all of the simpsons or something that that's a tall order because that's what 25 some seasons uh, one seasons i think is it really wow i think so please say cap. somebody wants us to say cap <laughs> say cap for something I don't know what that even means anymore. It means it's a joke. You're joking about oh. not seeing all those movies. Say no, cap. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. So you got to say no cap, Ant man. Oh, I did watch uh, Black Panther. I watched That's Black a good Panther. one. Um, so I want to uh, get to your yeah. point of like the, yeah, the Disney. Let's go back premiere. to the premiere access because I okay. think this is close to I. We've talked about it before. Nintendo tries to emulate Disney on a lot of things. So okay, go. So. Early pandemic, uh, Trolls World Tour came out or whatever. My kids like the troll movies. Uh, that was a no-brainer. That Friday or whatever, that Friday, Saturday, we got pizza. We bought it on Amazon and yeah. watched. And I think they watched it two or three times that weekend because it was the 48 hours. That was something that is not on a service that I'm paying for. That was a one time it was supposed to that was the novel thing as well at that point because it was sure. early pandemic when that came out when disney did mulan first I, I i still haven't watched mulan even though it the the li the live action one even though it's it's now part of disney plus yeah i like um, it it was good you should watch and, it. and i need to i need to carve out some time to do it i need to watch coming to america too that that just came out on amazon as well like there's there's movies i need to watch i need to carve out time and actually do it but with the fact that I'm paying for Disney Plus and mm -hmm. I and Disney's not even hiding the fact that yes, it's going to come to the regular yeah, Henny Henny got you on this one, but go ahead, keep going. I do pay for Prime, yes. Oh. So let's uh, hear this hypocritical statement you're about to make. Let me let me <laughs> let me hear it. <laughs> Yeah, you already, you already know what I'm gonna say. Like, Disney, Disney is not hidden the fact that it's going to be on the service later, like well, on, for something I already pay for. So, I think it, that's a benefit, though, right? Like, I think I think they're we need being a pause button about it. that we just smack and it's like <laughs> smash the pause button. I I think it's a benefit that they're they're adding. Like, hey, this is supposed to be in theaters right now for obvious reasons. We know you you maybe don't want to go to theaters, even if you can in your region. Um, so this is an opportunity. Otherwise, you can watch it in June when it comes out for everyone like it would have normally. So like I don't I don't look at this as them like screwing us over. I think this is a benefit. But maybe I'm very rose tinted towards Disney because I'm just all about it. It's going to yeah, depend I mean, on I, what you're into, right? I couldn't give yeah. two shits about these movies that you're talking about from well, Disney. You should. Because I, wouldn't, they're great. I would not spend but, any money then, on them whatsoever. I guarantee like, you, Disney would get my money for Black Widow if they weren't so insistent on the fact that it's going to be in theaters in May. And that's the only place you can do it. 
They've already yeah. delayed it from Oct- what, October of last year. It was delayed, I think. Well, if you yeah. bought Raya and enough people bought Raya, maybe they would change their tune on, on Black Widow. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm supporting this because I want them to do it going forward for every movie. For me, like it's still going to be in theaters. So it's As not an like AMC an stockholder, like I do not like this <laughs> at all. So, yeah, yeah. Josh, is, <laughs> Josh is riding the wave of AMC, and he, he needs you to go back to the theater. Yes. So I, I was saying my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> your, your house just decided you were done. <laughs> But like, look at look at the, the backlash that HBO is facing. Like, I'm excited that Mortal Kombat, is, like Tom and Jerry, came out this month. I guess I, I haven't watched it. I've heard it's bad. I started but it. I, I kind of almost want to watch the the Denzel and Jared Leto movie. I I, I know that HBO is like it's a limited window. I think HBO is taking them off of Max after yeah. 60 days like, or something like that. I and know. I think Wonder Woman think, fell yeah, off already. No, um, yeah. So, so whatever that timeline was, it's yeah, it's either thirty or sixty days. Yeah, but like HBO faced severe backlash from HBO or from AMC um, because they were doing day and date on HBO Max and in theaters. Like the theaters don't want to compete with this stuff, and so I don't. I think Disney's trying not to ruffle feathers. Maybe I, I, I think they're not. I just I don't care about and and I appreciate people wanting to go to the the theaters and i think that should still be an option for you but for someone like me i wasn't going anyways and so this is just a benefit like i i could see a world where both of these exist it would hurt the theaters to some degree but there's some people like i assume josh you're in this boat but you would want to go to the theater for the movie you want to watch regardless of if it was on your home tv because the experience yeah, and I would still do that for a Star Wars, and that's about it. That's the only thing I'm going to a theater for, and I'm going to watch it in IMAX. I'm going to pay that premium and you know mm-hmm. experience it. Yeah, I mean, Anything I've got else, the though, killer surround sound. Like, I mean, a lot of people come and watch a movie at my place. They're like, "This sounds better than the movies," but it doesn't. Yeah. It's not about and you the don't sound. Have guys doing the straw in the soda. I don't, but like, no. I I yeah. just. I, okay, but well, one of the last times I went to the movie, I went to go move my cup and the lid fell off, and I spilled most of my drink in my lap. So that was super great. Like they yeah. didn't just put. If, it, if that happened at home, you pause the movie and fix yourself, and then you start over again. Right, right. But I mean, nowhere else is anybody else going to get to experience me laughing during the the most depressing scenes of Titanic. When, I don't want that. You're going to take dude, me out of the experience. When, when the dude falls and hits the propeller and goes yeah, bong, and, then, and I'm like yeah. bah! <laughs> everybody else is crying and I was laughing so hard, right? Like to where like like Jen was like, you got to stop like stop. You know? Just totally embarrassed. <laughs> she was. I didn't care. Yeah. That's just That's just me, you know? Like but yeah, and I mean, there's nothing better than a movie ending and listening to all the white people clap. I'm just like, why are people I clapping? Don't that. I don't yeah, understand like, it either. As if the producer of the movie's in for? there. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a plane landing. Why are you clapping? Yeah, it's the projectionist. You're you're clapping for the projectionist back there. Good job with the movie guy. <laughs> the projectionist doesn't even have to do that much now. It's a it's a digital thing. It's I not know. like he's, he's working on the negative or anything. Yeah, yeah, I've never. <laughs> It's not like you're at Sundance <laughs> or or Con or something like that, and the people are there. <laughs> yeah, I just so <laughs> I really enjoy watching movies, but from the comfort of my home. So I'm all in on the Premier Access stuff. And if it's a movie I don't care about, I'm not gonna not gonna get it right. Like I'm, I'm not gonna just rent anything. But um, I think it's. I think it can exist without completely killing the the theater industry. Well, and I mean, but, there's talks of like Amazon purchasing AMC, in which case Prime movies would probably end up being shown in theaters at the same time. Like, you mm-hmm. know, which I think in in some of the I think the Academy is not that everyone's striving for the Academy stuff, but uh netflix was released what was the what was the scorsese movie i i actually still haven't even watched it because it's like four hours long the irishman or whatever 
Yeah. Like yeah. it Netflix had to put it on so many screens so it could be considered yeah. by the Academy. Um, mm-hmm. which I uh, this last year I think has loosen that up quite a bit because nobody's watching what an movies. arbitrary requirement right like so, what is that? so yeah i mean i hope i hope that this can push the academy and everybody else forward a little bit and and take other types of or even movies from bigger studios that are just coming to because uh, like Borat went straight to Amazon, I watched yeah, that. Those, Sasha, those Sasha Baron Cohen so won. He won Golden Globes for that stuff. Uh, for for two for the second one. Yeah, just this I, li- oh, like two weeks man, ago or whatever. I think I'm I'm too old for this world any longer. Because <laughs> like I enjoyed the first Borat, but you know I was much younger. I just found this first one annoying. And then on top of that, like as an American, um this dude comes to our country and just like shows and and he's using camera edits and stuff. So he's, he's tricking us into just seeing like the worst of our country. So he's making fun of us to our face and we're just eating it up. Like it doesn't, nothing about it made sense to me or was funny anymore. Mm. I did not enjoy it. Uh, But yeah, to, to each their own, but that, Totally killed my train of thought. I was yeah, so back heated to, for going on Bora. Back You're to talking about Amazon and, and back to, back the to Academy your, and back to your butt. And... To my butt. Yeah, you you <laughs> said you said butt right as I said about Amazon and AMC getting purchased, and you were talking about the premiere stuff and just liking it from your home, you know, from from the comfort oh, of your yeah, home. It, it, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. So, yeah, I mean, and and I'm not against people, you know, like, you know, freedom of speech and all that. I'm I'm all for it. I'm I'm totally not like against someone. I just it, you know, the Borat thing just struck me as weird cuz like if I went to another country and like played a character and made fun of their country, like that would not be well received by the people. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to laugh and praise my my character and and how great of a job i did they're gonna be like who the hell is this guy so it's just kind of interesting to me but mm-hmm. um yeah i think the the premiere stuff and the theaters i think they can exist in the same same timeline but it might be hard for theaters after this pandemic in general so we'll have to see where that goes like amc's been around since like like forever right yeah and mm-hmm. so it is it they've had to innovate to some extent to stay in business like that's just the way that's just the way things are so had yours had, had your guys's local theaters gotten remodeled before all this like the reclining seats and all that kind of stuff my local theater is in a mall that shut down during the pandemic so <laughs> Um, it's next to a TJ Maxx and the theater are the only two things that are left open in that mall. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, it's now a ghost town. So, you know, like I am excited and hopeful that they are going to come up with ways to make the, the, to, to get people back into the, uh, to the movies, you know? And I think there's a lot of people, I don't know. I mean, even, even my kids like to go into the movie, like as teenagers, you know, still going on dates and stuff like that, that was mm-hmm. something they, they enjoyed. So like, yeah, I mean, but if you, if you like, you look back on like Spielberg and Lucas talking about it, like they were like, yeah, the movies are, the theaters are going to go away. It's kids don't want, Oh, that's the point I was going to make kids. This is not it, but I remembered it. Uh, kids don't want to go to theaters anymore. They just want Netflix and chill anyways. Right. So in public but mom on, and those, dad aren't, mom on and those dad chairs aren't <laughs> hey so i remember what i was gonna talk about now i remember uh you guys think we see avatar 2 anytime soon think james cameron's gonna make that or how, what, what's your what's your guys guess they, doesn't he have dates already like listed out like oh i didn't know because he, he shot what Two, three, and four together, or something like that. I don't There's know. No way that's true. He, no, he shot. No, he, allegedly he shot it. I don't know if he's done with it, but I think he shot it like Peter Jackson and went and shot all everything, and then is just holding those in his, the, his the editing, Disney he's, vault. He's editing it right now. But aren't is, isn't Disney making Avatar World or something like that? Uh, probably not. Disney. <laughs> I I thought I don't know. I thought so. Does I'm Disney sure. own Avatar? It's on Disney Plus. Oh, so then, yeah, maybe. But I don't think that matters, right? I, I'm assuming 
I don't know. All this licensing stuff is so weird. Was to it me. a Fox movie before? Is that why Avatar's now probably. in probably. Disney's probably. hands? Okay. Yep. How so, much money did the twenty? How much? How many billions of dollars did they spend on Twentieth Century Fox? A lot. Again, again I don't know. <laughs> Enough that they're charging thirty dollars for premiere access. Probably less than what Activision <laughs> paid for Candy Crush. So. <laughs> I just. I'm curious when we're going to see that movie. You know, the first one was like supposed to be so revolutionary, and I think it fell short by most people's it, well, it was, expectations. It was 3D, and it was that 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 is tailed off a little bit as well. I mean, thank goodness, but I'm biased. I can't see the 3D stuff, so I'm biased against it. You can't see yeah, 3D. I, My favorite is putting those 3D. glasses on and just seeing the rims of everything. I'm like, can they not make these like the 80s? Like, like you know, like just make the, the what? Just no, not the '80s red and blue glasses. I'm talking like the like the old surfer dude glasses that it's just one lens, right? Just oh. <laughs> so that you don't have to look at the 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 I, glasses part. I think, like, drives drives me crazy. I think they're they're dip each each they lens is yeah, different. They are different, right? So just That's split them in the middle. 3D. Right? Yeah. But so they just, just have a little line. But, but yeah, just like it used to drive me crazy. I'm like, these don't fit my face. Like you want you want the, the baseball shades kind of deal. That's what right? I'm talking the... about. Just split it down the middle <laughs> and mold them together. And there we go. Now 3D is is glorious. Like uh, I still can't see it, so I, I'm glad that's dying. Uh, I, I yeah, I really don't. It it was neat. I was like, I think the I don't know. It you could tell with most movies it was like we're going to charge you an extra $5 for this. And mm -hmm. you can tell it was tacked on. They didn't actually record any of this with 3d cameras. It was like, we're going to, we're going to copy, copy pasta, the 3d effects over here. They go, you know, <laughs> upscaled 4k. Right, right, <laughs> right. So, Hey, that's an hour and 11 minutes. You guys want to, you want to, want to call it before we lose the recording? Yeah. Yeah. Before <laughs> the <great> idea. <laughs> it just melts Josh's computer. <laughs> It's the hard drive. I think it's the it's the old hard drive that's like I can't write anymore in this time. Like I can't do it. So, uh, Eric, where can people where can people find you? But before you do that, I want to let everybody know we are we're brainstorming some ideas to get you guys more involved with this. Whether we start throwing out some topics that you guys mm -hmm. we might do some call like we might just like we got to maybe figure out a way to do to do like a call-in thing i'm not really sure how that one will work exactly because like it would either jack up our cameras or yeah. i would have to leave the i don't know i don't know yeah. maybe we can go into the stream room show cameras and then i could move somebody in and they could talk but not have their camera on maybe we'll have mm -hmm. to test some stuff but yeah we, we want to get we want to get you guys more involved and we also want to get we also want to get main chat popping in Discord, and and, and yeah. er Eric is Eric is leading the charge. So gonna en try. engage gonna with try. him because he he, he yeah. wants he wants to talk. I do, I do want to talk. Yeah. So if you want to engage with your hero, come to <laughs> n64josh.com/discord and and come at me in the main chat. That's the only place you can at me anywhere else, and I'm gonna ignore you. And not Main follow chat you. Only. <laughs> Main <laughs> chat only. And yeah, I may not follow you for three years. Just deal with it. <laughs> how about how that TikTok do on traction? I don't even know. It's on it's on Pinterest right now. We might get some we might get some traction there. We'll have to see. Classic. Well, I'll just say it, Eric put out a tweet this week just to try to get me to engage with him, and I I I and you didn't. I, was, I, I resisted. Nobody did. Because, Man, you can't you get know, Josh. Josh engaged with you, and yeah. I. I knew it was my. It was bait for me. I knew who it was for, and I resisted. I'm like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, gonna open to, up that box. I'm gonna have to try harder <laughs> next time, then. Henny, uh, we appreciate you, dude. Thank you for that feedback. That's great. That's that's why we're doing this so that we can have fun and 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 not have to try to like, hey guys. We're gonna scrape in the bottom of the gonna, barrel first. We're gonna something. talk about Nintendo again today. And hope. do you think Nintendo Online needs improvements? <laughs> <laughs> How many times did we have that discussion? <laughs> I don't know, but I think we are gonna have to do like a top, 
like we're gonna have to rate the star wars movies the three of us we're gonna have to like okay. that there's gonna be bloodshed that's gonna be like a two like, hour episode maybe. yeah there will be blood be there will be blood so holiday specials already last <laughs> i don't know i think i like it better than any of the prequel or the sequel <laughs> See, yeah, it's gonna be a rough one because I thought that I liked the sequels, but I know I'm in the minority. So, I think I actually think after we talk about it, I could change your mind. And I, I know you're it. like, I doubt it because you know, yeah, I know, I but I think I could. I, I think, or at least you would, yeah. You would see because the problem is with the argument with the Star Wars movies is you got everybody just screaming into the void. My childhood's yeah. ruined. We don't care about your childhood. You know, like, right. and it's like, why do they have the same voice? No. That's just how people scream in your, the void. Your childhood's ruined. We don't care about your childhood. Is that, is that better? Is that? Yeah, uh, I need yeah, I need sock like puppets next time. So um, actually kill it. OK, Hang on. <laughs> and we should save this for for the actual talk. But I. I don't necessarily think they ruined anything. I don't care, right? Like it's their story. They can tell how they want. I was just along for the ride and I enjoyed the ride. Like I liked all all nine movies, the mainline movies. And um going back and rewatching the prequels, I appreciate them more now than I ever did before. That's all. So yeah. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to clip out that Freddie Prince Jr. clip and play it when on that episode we talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> where he's obviously like tired of people screaming at him you know like, oh, yeah because star wars fans are ruthless i'm getting ready to start yeah, he's, a new... a, he's, a, he's a jedi he's a jedi knight in yeah. in the canon so he's got to deal with that crap coming at him y yeah and, and he was sick of it <laughs> we're like i'm starting i'm part of a new star wars podcast com coming out in april and it like star wars fans are brutal like if you don't yeah. own all the like if you don't read all the comics and all the books and know all the lore like you're not a true fit like like that's yeah. the kind of stuff where i'm like you literally have a definition of a true fan like you 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 you, you really don't when was do the this. last time you went to a con, a con bro yeah yeah right <laughs> not but a real fan that's that's Hashtag true canceled yeah i didn't i didn't pay my 15 dollars to uh uh <laughs> take a picture with mark hamill you know so um, that's how carrie fisher made a lot of money <laughs> yeah it's true it's true they wouldn't well yeah mm. but the guy that played darth vader you know like the, the white dude in the suit yeah yeah the, he, like it wasn't he irish or something he, he had a thick accent of some sort from my understanding i don't know if i'm a true fan or not but he said wouldn't it be crazy if vader was Luke's father. He didn't even. He did not even know the lines Nobody he was knew. given. Yeah, yeah. Hamill, were, Hamill knew, yeah. and uh, Luke is or uh, uh, what's his name? James Who's Earl Jones. Of, uh, well, James oh. Earl Jones. James Earl Jones did the voice well after the fact, but right. yeah. they didn't even like, know. On, he was on in set the that day, yeah, like Nobody uh, Mark Hamill and, and Irving. What, what's his? I forget what the director's name is, but like he knew, and then Lucas, and like that was it. The none of the people gotcha. on the set knew because he guessed he was black lit and said it to the a news outlet. He was blacklisted from all cons. He was not invited. He wasn't like he was literally blacklisted from everything Star Wars because of for, from my understanding. It could be it could be could be huh. false, could be rumor. But that's that's but something I've heard. And it's you know. the issue you, you have, though, is nobody knows what he looks like anyways. Right. Because he's Darth Vader. So. And he's not the voice. Yeah, so but it's, there's it could be any dude in a suit. There's the most obscure characters that show up to these cons, and they're like, "Hey, <laughs> I was, I was IG88, I was boss, right?" In like, suit. Yeah, <laughs> and, and everybody's like, "Let me get your picture. This is great." You know, here's your not fifteen even bucks. Up, just a random guy. <laughs> yeah, just scraggly <laughs> beard and like, yeah, you know. So, all right. Yeah, the guy, the guy that played Boba Fett that recently died, he had like a must. You see him without the helmet on. He's got like a '70s stash, and and just it <laughs> yes. totally takes you away from it. It's like what? Yeah, this is not. <laughs> this is not it. Crawler, where can we find you before this? We're gonna lose the show. <laughs> we're gonna lose the show. Uh, same place you can find uh, Eric. Uh, let let's let's get main chat popping again. Uh, so n64josh.com/slash Discord. 
uh we got we got a room for press pause so come give us some ideas apparently the star wars uh episode is going to be spicy so be ready for that. Give us, give us your Star Wars takes. Uh, I think we have a, don't we have a Star Wars room? Some, we have a few different ones. We have squadrons and other stuff. So I'm sure you, there's plenty of spots you can give us your Star Wars opinion. So well, and then, to yeah. appease, appease Eric, put it in main chat and tag him. So at, perfect. Do that. As of right now, there may be a relatively large Star Wars fan joining us next week. So uh, very just, nice. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. So stay tuned for yeah guest, guest star. I meant 6'4", four, Josh. Guest? Our first, Yeah. Next yeah. Week? Okay. Re- hopefully, re- re- revolving guest. Recurring. Hopefully, yep. we'll recurring. see. You can follow recurring, me everywhere. <laughs> he, he can revolve, but he's going to be recurring. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I just I meant six four Josh. Okay, that's all I know right now. I don't know recurring or revolving at the moment. I I know I have three podcasts to upload. That's all I know. So we love you guys. Thank you for listening. If you want to review us on iTunes, we need it right now. And for those of you that have given us the five stars already, we love you just a little bit extra, right? We're not afraid to yeah. say who our favorite kids are. We'll, we'll tell you. <laughs> All right. So. True. Bye, everyone. Later. <laughs>